you ever saw a squirrel climbing up a tree? That was the inspiration for this advanced alternate picking exercise. The squirrel looks like magic, but the good news is everyone can learn that easily. So follow my instruction and let's take a deeper look into that power lick. I play the squirrel exercise with alternate picking in the three note per string scale. But first let's break down the scale and look into the basics. The first shape of the G major scale is based on three easy six note shapes. Each of these six note patterns is synchronic. Begin with the easiest one on the D and G string. I mark it dark green for you. Ascend the first note, which is F sharp, and just play it ascending. By doing this training, you can focus on the outside string shift, later you can play it in descending way, which features the inside string shift. triplets for the beginning and switch over to sixes if you want to play faster than 120 beats per minute. When you got that, you can do the same with the little bit harder orange scale and finally with the most difficult red scale. When you mastered the six note shapes, you can switch over to the next exercise, which is playing the three note per string scale up and down. <laughs> Here we have the G major diatonic over the whole fretboard. The squirrel is based on a constant horizontal movement and runs over three octaves. The first no six note shape uses the three notes of the G Ionian scale on the E string and on the A string the three notes of the A Dorian scale. I mark them red for you so you can visualize the red shape again. You can use this as an advanced exercise to get familiar with the position change. The next three notes are on the D string and they come from the B Phrygian scale and also on the G string from the C Lydian scale. I mark them orange for you, so you can see our orange shape. <laughs> The 
the last six note shape includes the three notes on the B string from the D mixolydian scale and the three notes on the E string from the E aeolian scale. This is our easiest shape, so I mark it green to visualize. This is the ascending part of the square. To make the lick smoother, I switch the position up by one note and begin the descending line on the B of the E string. So let's create all the six note shapes we use for the descending line. Here we have our red shape. Then we go over to the next strings. To keep it synchron, I use the green shape here. And finally, we have our last shape, the orange shape on the E and A string. That's gonna mark that orange. And to finish the lick, you can play the G, so you have a whole turn around. Keep it as clean as possible. Make sure that you have some fixing points for your eyes on the fretboard. That helps you to control the exercise in speed. Finally, enjoy the squirrel in three different tempos. Make sure that you subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell to not miss the next power lick.